Someone is winding up Catherine. Oh. <laughs> Marathons. <laughs> My friend Jane has a ham-colored husband called Brian. <laughs> Brian... <laughs> ..is one of these spandex men who runs marathons. I don't know what it is about a middle-aged man. He's got to know he can be 26 miles away from home on foot at any given moment. <laughs> they all just start to run. And then they link it to charity. Like, I've got to now subsidize their hobby. And like, it's chair, it's just chair. I'm just running to raise awareness for cancer. We've heard of it, sit down. <laughs> I think charity is a wonderful thing, but mm. I donate to causes that I believe in because of the work that is achieved, not because someone from the office threatened to lose a toenail <laughs> by running around. I don't like it at all. No, I... I can see that, because if, if, if you said to someone, do you want to give money to the local children's hospital, and they said, yeah, but I want you to go on a big run. Yeah. But, <laughs> you don't just want to give it. No, no, I need you to run. <laughs> Some evil puppet master. <laughs> if I'm walking through central London and a homeless guy asks me for change, I'd OK, OK, what about a, what about a little dance? <laughs> Come on, heads and shoulders. <laughs> Come on. It would, you'd think I was evil. Yeah. So, as you say, just give people the money. Don't make them go on a run to, so you can help people who need help. Just live your life. Mm. I don't mm. like it. And I've never met someone who runs marathons that I enjoy as a person. No offense. <laughs> <laughs>